Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Pretty good here. So, why did I start off showing you guys a mouse trap? <laughs> There's a little story behind that. Hopefully, we're going to solve it today. This is a little problem. Uh, for, hang on a sec. Lens is screwing up on this thing. There we go. For about the past couple of years, we've had mice in the attic of the house, and uh, I've caught a few downstairs. I'm like, they gotta be getting in somewhere. I've looked over everything, you know, like all the the joints and stuff up here, and you know, I know mice can get into a pretty small spot, which good for them, but not good for us, right? So. Uh, <laughs> The other night, I heard something upstairs at about 2 a.m., and it was like... Upstairs, I'm like, oh, that's something a little bigger than a mouse. <laughs> What's going on here, you know? You know, so I'm looking around, you know, looking around these vents. You know, I think they're good, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm looking around. Normally, they'll get into through block and stuff, right, where this is all like a block foundation. You know, we've had all the soffit and fascia done. Everything's good and tight. Everything's good. Let me know if I can show you this. Well, everything's tight. So I'm like, okay, where the friggin' crap are they coming in? So I went upstairs yesterday and set a bunch of traps. Mouse traps, rat traps, who knows? I don't know what's up there, but it sounded like something major. So, uh, yeah, not fun, not good. So, I uh, looked around yesterday upstairs there. You know, I'm a bigger guy and it's pretty small up there, but I did find a problem, a major problem. So, uh, I've got my light with me here. We're gonna jump upstairs. Haven't ever had you guys way upstairs before, so we're gonna go up there and I'm gonna show you what's going on. And uh, I got a solution and hopefully it works. Now, um, it's a little bit of work and I'm gonna have to, I'm on my normal Sony right now, but when I'm doing the work on the outside, on the other side, I'll show you when we get up there. I'm going to have to um, switch to my GoPro head mount, so I apologize if you're, it's gonna be sick, but you know, I need two hands definitely on a ladder going up like this freaking high, you know, to work on what are we going to work on, but let's jump up in the attic here first and have a look. I'll show you what's going on. Bad. Welcome to the attic. <laughs> so, we'll get up here in a second. I got to be part gymnast to get up here, and uh, because the ladder's only so tall. But uh, we've got to go look back this way to the uh, west side, but uh, I can go up a couple more steps here, and we'll see if our like, I got crazy. I got killing boards, I call them here. <laughs> Get these little turds. And uh, there's uh, six traps there. They're probably not in the right spot, but, you know, I've set up traps here before. Like, look at all the turds, eh? And I've had those electronic mouse traps up here, and they've caught hundreds of mice. So I'm like, where the frick are they getting in? But anyways, uh, those all look like those bars are all out on the mouse traps over there. Yeah, it went crazy, I know, but we'll get them. <laughs> But you got to eliminate the uh, entry point first. But nothing in any of these, so I guess that's a good thing. So I'll uh, gymnast myself up here. It's not super fun, but see what I can do. My name's Jim. Last name Nist. <laughs> Jim Nist. All right, so I love the chimney in this house. I don't know what happened when they built it, but it's like, oh crap, we're off like six inches. Let's just, you know, not measure right the first time and uh, and just, just slant her over a bit more. That'll work. So, yeah. Anyways, I gotta try to step on beams here, and I know it's not good stepping on insulation, but that's about all I can do. Okay, so this is the west end of the house here at the vent. Now, first of all, if I can get my balance in here, hang on. Look at all the turds right here. And most of them are small ones. So that's a good thing. And they kind of trail out through everywhere. So, I got over to here the other night, yesterday I guess, looking. And I'm like, okay, there's a bunch of turds here. Look at this here. 
<laughs> you little turds. So I was contemplating on building like a boxing out of this meshing stuff. But they will chew through, uh, they will chew through wood. They have to, right? And looks kind of like they have up here. Kind of hard to show you, but there's chewy marks up there. Oh, buggers. But there's quite a few holes in this meshy screen here on the inside, so that's not a good thing. Now, if it was up to me, I'd probably just block this vent right off, but it is bringing air in, so... Um, I don't even know if I bent some, some of that stuff up and just kind of stapled it in there, they might not be able to get through it, because all they've come through is this screen. It's all, uh, you know, wood, or on wood, metal on the outside, like this kind of metal on the outside, and... Uh, uh, these these louvers, but they've chewed through this meshy screen, so that actually might be not a bad option. That saved me a whole pile of drilling. The only thing is that's going to be real tricky to get in there with a staple gun, I think. <laughs> staple it down. That, that actually might be a good option, because they won't be able to eat through this stuff or the louvery stuff, it's just this meshy screen. So I basically just need to get a piece of stuff made for in there. That might be a better option, you know that? Hmm. Because I think if I just screened right over top, they'd just chew through this wood, and then they come again. You have to be right tight to this, to this thing, you know? So I'd have to uh, get that measured real good. I did bring all my tools for uh, going on the outside and putting that screen on the outside, but it would look nicer on the outside if it wasn't screened up like that. So I might, I might just do that. Get this measured and make like a boxy thing to fit in there out of that screen. Now the only thing is I don't have, I think, a wide enough piece. It, well, it might be close. I've got some screen down there, some different grade of stuff, and I want to use the heavier stuff. Now, the only concern I've got is if, well, no, they shouldn't be able to. They might try to bulge it out and then get in, and in through a side, but I don't think they'd be able to. But anyways, let's go outside and look at it too, and uh, see what we think. Look at all the turds, eh? Little turds. Oh, man. Crazy. All right, so this is the thicker stuff that I got. It's old used stuff from something, but it's like a real thick stuff. They wouldn't get through that. And then I've got this other stuff, same, same size of square. But this stuff is more like flexible, right? Whereas they probably still wouldn't get through that, but I don't know. I mean, it's still pretty tough. It's a half inch, I think, this stuff. Um, but I like this stuff, I think, better because it's more of a galvanized. You can tell by the age of it, it hasn't even started to rust yet. So, I don't know. I was thinking of maybe mounting that on the thing on the outside here. But... Uh, Walk, not fall off and have a look here so the old legs don't give out because <laughs> that would suck it's a long friggin way up would be a little safer on the inside but uh, a little trickier I think so as far as I guess they're what they're doing man I don't know how they're grabbing on but they must be crawling up the wall in here and then right inside how the crap do they hold on to this stuff? <laughs> Little turds, eh? Maybe I should just electrify this thing as soon as they touch it, eh? That'd be awesome. Yeah, you can see the holes. They're just going right in. Little buggers. So I don't know if maybe they're coming off the roof too and, and then down and in, but you can almost kind of see the, maybe that's just the venting stuff, but I don't know, I don't know. So what my other plan was, was to use that screen stuff and put it on the outside here. Then I've got some, uh, actually I could probably even mount just to this again, drill right through. I've got some, uh, that mesh and then some of my, that a piece of aluminum on the generator there. I believe it's inch and a half wide. 
and I might run the screen out past and then screw drill into this stuff and then drill that stuff in all the way around and that would kind of maybe solve the problem on the outside but it may not kind of look so nice that's my only concern but little turds eh man they might even be trying to pull into that but if I can screw it down to the block of the brick here and then tap con that the piece of stuff onto it that might be the method I don't know try to best to block them from the outside so they'll be crawling up the screen and oh we can't get in what the friggin crab and then they'll just bugger off somewhere else hopefully so I think that's what I'm gonna do oh really don't like the idea of drilling sitting on this silly ladder <laughs> so that's why I need two hands for sure Ah, uh, boy oh boy I might even have to uh, set you guys up on the tripod down there I don't know I wonder if there's any kind of good glue I could use. I, I just, it wouldn't last, though. That's the trouble, right? Probably should pop this vent out, put a new one in. I'm sure they have better ones nowadays, but uh, these look like they were, like, nailed in. They did not probably wrecking this thing trying to get it off. So, I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it and uh, put the screen over and then bang on. Now, i got to figure out how wide this is going to be, plus another inch and a half. I still might not have enough screen. By 19 and then we got to add our buffer for the, the other piece here oh this is not fun I don't like ladders much <laughs> 11 by 19 All right Ooh, so uh, hmm. Okay, I'm good there, but the only thing is, is I don't like this two-piece thing, like someone's joined that at one time, right, to maybe bend around something or whatever, I, I don't know. I don't know if they'd be able to get through, push their nose through this kind of thing. I might have to uh, get up there with some aluminum wire after and wire the shut a little more. Okay, so 11 by 19, all right, well, let's get something cut out there and then we'll have to leave I say that you know the extra inch and a half I think this crap is holy jeez oh. yeah okay so we'll leave a buffer and uh, I guess we'll start screwing it <laughs> so drilling and screwing so I might be able to do most of this with this camera uh, maybe I'll grab a tripod and then uh, maybe just zoom in up there I can might be blocking most of you but anyway see what we can do here we'll get something cut all right a bunch of cutting to do so we'll fast time it little staple looks like thingies. I actually made those. This is aluminum wire. I don't really know it's aluminum because after you touch it for a while your your hands rub it off and you turn black so I'm just uh, basically doing that and you'll see why in a second. Okay so these will go through. Now I gotta leave an inch and a half buffer just so I remember. Start this guy maybe down. I'm just gonna mark that because I'll probably forget. Inch and a half, so 
so we can do one uh, maybe right there. And these are just a little quick. I wish I had one of those ring plier, hog ring pliers, I think they call them. But as I don't, I have to do with what I have with what I have, right? Hold it, I think. So, I think I'm gonna do. Uh, now there's one at the bottom here, another one of these rings that's probably gonna have to come off because I don't think the, the guy will sit. The stuff I'm gonna use will sit right, so I'm gonna have to bust this one off of here. Watch your eyeballs. Oh, they're soft. Holy. So, and then this one was one, two, three, fourth square in. One, two, three, fourth square in. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Whoops, my bad. Come on, really? Work with my hands. Left hand, I cannot do anything very much with my left hand. <laughs> Apparently my right either. Holly jumping. It's one of those days. Probably because I'm all nervous about going up the stupid ladder. Slippery ground. Not looking forward to that. Okay, so we're gonna do another one. the right pliers either mind you but <coughs> they'll get the job ish done I suppose going a little overboard here with these just because you know I want to it wouldn't be bad if I this was already a solid piece but it's all I got so it's all I got it's all I got Actually, might do it. I got a little bit more than I needed, but that's all right. Did 
Okay, that should be good for that. Okay, so now we gotta do our... Where'd I put it? I hate to sacrifice this lovely piece of aluminum, but that's what's gonna strap her to the wall for me. Um, okay, so, now. I really believe I've gotta be uh, super fancy with this, but... Top and bottom. Hmm. You know, you could do like the 45 and really make it nice looking, but I just brought a hacksaw and I don't think I'd get the angles cut right with that. So, so we're gonna probably go uh, tight top to bottom like that and then bring the other one on down here, I guess. So, all right, so let's measure this. Sorry, Mark, that's what I do. Oh, it's right in front of me here. Duh. Duh. And uh, hopefully I can drill right through. Those things. <laughs> and uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to cut this stuff with. No, I don't even try. Okay, got to go get my saw. stable work area, but uh, should be able to get her here. Okay, that doesn't look super too bad. Now we just got to kind of figure out, I already got one hole drilled here, just to make sure my bit was sharp and it was pretty good. Figure out roughly, hopefully everything will just kind of find a hole through the holes here, if you know what I mean, and uh, we should be good. So we're gonna do, uh, of course, one on each end. I don't know how many we need, less the better, I think, but here we're gonna need probably every, maybe three or four inches, so. Got nineteen. I put that one an inch down. I put this one an inch down. But I hope I can just put these together and drill them both at the same time. But an inch down. Hold her anyway, so we'll uh, anywhere in the middle of these, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let me just grab my drill dewey here, and away we drill. The ones are somewhat close ish. Yeah. 
should work. This one, big one here. I think I want to go in an inch. This is the part I'm sure not looking forward to, is going up and drilling the holes in the, in the block, but they don't have to be super deep because they're the only short screws I got, so it's good. So we'll drill these guys too, uh, down a bit here maybe. is over <laughs> hopefully okay so I guess I'll go up the ladder and uh, attach one of these and uh, get the generator going here and oh, those aren't bang on perfect but I'll be able to I think move them around a little bit I'll figure it out oh, it's not too bad there uh, it'll find its own happy medium I'm sure um, okay so really should be tying this ladder off to something, but I really don't have anything to tie it off to, so... Uh, maybe I can push this up against it or something, I don't know. Or fall off and die. Well, here's a nice grimy cold start for you. It's uh, been a while since we had this going. Uh, the choker fuel's on. What the heck? Recoil's not grabbing me. like the letter part of the cord grabbing the recoil in here. Here's a repair we need to do, I guess, too. Holy jeez.
Well, that's not looking too bad. Uh, I'm off a bit on my where they went, but that's because of the screen. I had to kind of shift them around a little bit so it wasn't drilling right through that screen, but the little buggers aren't getting in there no more. That's uh, fortified pretty darn good, I think. So we'll go have another look on the inside, and then I'm just going to have a quick look at the other end of the house, too. I don't I don't know if that one needs it, but that's where the bathroom vents out and stuff. And uh, well, anyways, we'll go upstairs there and have a look again. All right, let's try to make our way down here. Oh. Oh. Holy. Well, we can't see much from the inside, <laughs> but uh, I can see the screen on the outside there, so screw off, freaking mice or whatever. <laughs> That's definitely mouse size right there. Wow, they chewed through that, eh? And then probably a couple here. It's funny they didn't go any lower, though. So hopefully that's it. I don't know if anywhere else, hopefully not, but if we still have mouse problems, I guess back to square one, right? So I'm gonna go to the other end here now. Grab the light. I don't know what to do with all the turds. I guess as long as you don't disturb them, they're be all right, I don't know. Try not to set off all these freaking traps walking through here or fall through the hole because that would suck too but I'll show you something down here which I thought was interesting I don't know if there is something bigger up here as in squirrels or something where was it right down in here it looks to me like something's been down there and disturbing something. Digging a little tunnel right there. I don't know. You can't get out now. They'll, they'll find those traps and bang! <laughs> so, this is kind of here, just over the living room kind of TV room here. And we hear a lot of scratching and stuff on the, on the stuff there, so. Now we got this vent here too. This is where the bathroom vents out. It's all insulated pipe. But I don't see any turds or anything here. Kind of hard to show you, but I think we're okay up here. So that's good. But anyways, I'm gonna get the frick out of here because it's not not fun, and I don't like it much. <laughs> I have a problem going on ladders. I have a problem with confined areas. Not like I'm claustrophobic, but you know what? I'd rather stand up if I could. Because right now, it kind of sucks. So, I'll make our way down. Hopefully we catch any bunny in there. And anything bigger in these. And they've got uh, peanut butter. And the cranberry jammed in the little thingy so they'll lick the peanut butter off. This stuff's great. And try biting at that uh, <laughs> cranberry. Boom! So I did a test too and I uh, put them all on here, screwed them down to the board, and I thought, okay, one goes off. They're all gonna go off. But no, it didn't. It worked good. So we got enough for, for six. No, one, two, three, four, five. Three, six, seven, eight on that thing. So we'll see. But, anyways, I'm out of here. Holy crap. Anyways, that's it for me today. It was a big job. Uh, I don't really like ladders at all, but it, was, it wasn't too bad. I, I need a real better ladder though. That ladder is meant for a guy that's about 100 pounds maybe and <laughs> doesn't wiggle it, but I get up there and I fart and the thing almost falls off on me. So anyways, uh, we did pretty good. I think we should be fine. And that one up there, I don't think there's anything coming in that guy. So drive on, I guess. Probably should, should do the same deal, but and they uh, redid some work before we moved in. They put the, the vent for the bathroom there and they kind of screwed the same thing I did. So I think it should work though. Uh, we'll have to go check those traps again in the next you know week or so or three days or whatever and uh, see if we caught anything. Those traps do work good. I like those little mouse traps because they have like a little well that you put the peanut butter down into so they really got to work at it and step on it. Bang! Dead. Instant. Um, downstairs here, those traps we had downstairs actually, Dylan and I were in playing a game one night there and I hear bang! I'm like, holy crap! I went and frickin' there was a mouse in it and picked it up, take him outside to get rid of him, and uh, holy crap, he was still like twitching. It was that fresh. I'm like, holy crap! So, 
But anyways, got to rock on. Got other things to do today. Busy, busy day. It's actually warm out today. It's like six degrees. Last week it was minus 35. Don't ask me. <laughs> so anyways, thanks again for watching. Have yourselves a good day. And we'll catch you later.